Welcome to Pro Stitcher Designer Tips and Tricks. Today I am going to talk about some fun things that you can do with fonts. You can create a design. Now before I get started I need to remind you that the internet access on the tablet that is on your Handy Quilter machine is disabled. They've told me that it's because people could download all sorts of things from the internet that could conflict with Pro Stitcher and Pro Stitcher Designer. Then, when you had a problem, it would be extremely difficult for their tech support or your handy quilter retail dealer to troubleshoot and fix it. So, for the first part of what I'm going to show you, you cannot use the tablet on your machine. You will need to be on a computer, a laptop, or a tablet that has access to the internet. Okay, so here you see I've got my, um, I'm using another tablet, and I, am go I have gone to defont.com. This is where you can get tons of free fonts. You'll notice here at the top of the page, there's this red rectangle. They have divided the, the fonts into themes. So there are fancy ones, ones that look for foreign, maybe techno, gothic. So you can look at these theme, themes to see if you find something that you like. Or you can scroll down and see the recently added fonts. So those are just a few that are recently added. Or you can come up here to the search box that's on the right hand side of the page and type something in like, I don't know, butterflies, pumpkins, or anything that you're thinking of, a design that you'd want to see if you could find as a font. So I've already been here before and I know what I want. And I have seen a font called LP Flowers 2. So I'm gonna click in the search box and you'll notice that because I've already been here and I've already looked it up, it, it comes up in this pop-up window. So I'm gonna click on it and then I'm gonna click search. Now you'll notice that as I move my mouse, the hand, I mean the arrow, will turn into a hand. And that means that you can just click on any of these designs and it will bring up the font that has these designs. So here you see, if you type the capital letter E, this is the design that you're going to get. Or if you do the capital F, this is the design. So this is a font but when you type on your keyboard, this capital letter, you will get this uh, design. Isn't that cool? Okay, so one of the things that I like to do is when I um, download a font, I like to print up the, what these pictures look like so I can refer back to it. Now, instead of just actually printing it, I like to save it as a PDF file. Let me show you how you do that because I think you'll want to do this when you download these fonts that have designs. I'm holding the control key down on my keyboard and then I'm tapping the P key for print. And it's going to bring up this window. And on the right hand side, the option, this destination, depending on what you've done, the last thing that you've done, it will either say save as PDF, see more, or it'll have the name of your printer or Microsoft print to PDF. So I am choosing save to PDF. So that is going to save this as a PDF file that I can refer back to later so I can see the designs. Now, as I scroll through this, I see that there isn't anything, any, there aren't any designs for the lowercase letters. So I don't need to really save that. So for the pages, I'm coming and clicking on all and then I'm dragging down to custom, and then I'm just typing in one. I only need the first page. And then I'm clicking on save, and it's going to bring up a directory box to see where I can save it. In my downloads folder, I have created a folder called Pro Stitcher Designer, and that's where I like to save things um, off of the internet for Pro Stitcher Designer. So now I'm going to name it I don't like the name that they give it. I don't like all that. So I'm just gonna delete it to where it says LP Flowers 2. I don't even think I'm gonna say font. LP Flowers 2. 
and then I'm going to say save. And that is printed to a PDF or saved to a PDF so I can refer to it later. Now, when you're doing this and you, want, you found a font that you want to do, you'll need to install it. To install it, you need to download it first. So go to this download button that's on the right hand side and click on download. And it will bring up the directory box. Here again, my downloads and my Pro Stitcher Designer folder. And I'll say save. And then it just saved that font to my folder in my downloads. Now I'm going down to my Windows Explorer, clicking on that. Then I'm going to go to Downloads, Pro Stitcher Designer, and there's the PDF that I saved. And here is the zipped file of the fonts. It looks like a folder with a zipper on it. Now, on if you're on a Windows machine, on the left-hand side, there's this directory, a menu. You're going to need to insert a jump drive into your computer. And on a Windows machine, that is labeled as the D drive. Now, you'll notice here that it says Cupcake D. When I bought this jump drive, it was already named Cupcake. And it's the cutest little thing that you ever did see. So, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to left click, hold my finger down, and then drag this to the D drive, or to my little cupcake, and I'm going to release my finger. And then when I click on the D drive, you'll notice that there is the LP Flowers too. So then I'm just going to close that window, and then I'm going to eject my jump drive, and then take it to the tablet on my machine. So I'll See you back here in a second. Okay, here I am on the tablet that's connected to my Handy Culture machine. I'm going to go down to the jump drive, or I'm going down to the um, Windows Explorer, and I'm going down to my jump drive. Here's my little cupcake jump drive. Now I'm going to double click on the LP Flowers 2, and it, it unzips it. And I've got two files here. One is a text document that I don't need, and then the other one is the true type font file. And I'm going to double click on that, and it brings up this window. Now you'll notice up in the left it says print or install. If you printed this, this just shows what the, the different sizes of the font. It doesn't show the actual designs. So that's why I don't like to print this. So to install it, um, I just will click on install, get this little window. Oh, that was quick. Did you notice it was really quick? That just means that the font is installed now. I'm going to close that window and that window. And I am back here in Pro Stitcher Designer ready to do to make a design. Now I need to go to tools. So I click on tools and then I'm typing text, or I'm clicking on text, and then just clicking somewhere in the screen, and it brings up the word text. Well, I know, since I've already looked at this, that I want a capital J. I like the design with the capital J. So I'm going to apply that, and then I am going to change the height to four inches, and I'm going to apply that, then I'm just going to use the scroll bar on my mouse to scroll to make it a little bit smaller so you can see it on the screen. And then I'm going to change the font. Now over here, the last font that I used with Pro Stitcher Designer was Lucinda Bright. If I click on that, it will bring up the directory box for the fonts. Now remember my font was called LP Flowers 2. Oh, I just start typing LP and it automatically brings it to the top of the list. So I'll click on LP Flowers 2 and say OK. And there's the design. Isn't that a lovely design? Now I will just right click on the design and go to Break Up Text. 
and then I'm going to right click and go to break apart. Now you'll notice over here in the sequence pane that each of these little parts are um, a specific like a design element. So there's the design part, the element that's the bottom, and there's the part that's on the right side, and the top, and the left. Now this very bottom thing, as I click on that, you'll notice over here that it's some little something. It's really not part of the design. So sometimes the fonts, when you bring them into Pro Stitcher Designer, they may have this little something that is not really part of the design. So I am just going to um, tap the delete key on my keyboard and get rid of it. Okay, now I am going to hold the control key down and tap the A key on my keyboard and that selects all. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to right click and down to convert, convert to running stitches. And there you go. I have my design uh, converted to stitches that I can now stitch on my quilt. So, but let's just look at it. So I'm going to preview and I'm going to stitch out. And then we're just going to watch it as it stitches out. So there's that, the bottom part of the design, the right side, the top, and the left. Now make sure that you save this so that you can use it over and over again. I hope you have fun exploring fonts on defont.com and creating new designs with them. Thanks so much for watching Pro Stitcher Designer Tips and Tricks. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear.